Hi everyone, welcome to EMS 510. This is Jay Beeks again, your instructor for this second course, this two credit course, which is Sustainable Leadership 2 EMS 510. It's good to be back after a fairly productive Christmas and a first few months at the beginning of this year. So I hope you're all uh, rested and, and you've got uh, your, your wind in your sails again, ready for your second course here. As you probably know by now, our main reading resources for this car course are um, An Introduction to Leadership by Weiss once again. And our new book is The Fifth Discipline by Peter Senge. The emphasis in this book is going to be on systems thinking, uh, focusing on change, and uh, Peter Senge is an expert in this field, particularly on the subject of global change, but it's going to be very applicable for us as individual leaders. So a little bit about myself again. My background is primarily in engineering and science. I've worked for several consulting firms as a science and engineering manager, two large electric utilities, and then I spent about 10 years with the state of Oregon as an engineering manager. Uh, my education includes a green MBA from Merrillhurst University. I also have an MS in civil engineering, an MS in environmental science, and my PhD is in the social sciences with an emphasis on leadership and in sustainability. So in total I have about 20 years of leadership experience. Uh, that's working in consulting firms uh, my, and of the state and the utilities. These groups range from about uh, 22 individuals to as little as seven individuals. I now, however, am primarily teaching online I teach uh, exclusively graduate level courses to ASU students and Merrill Hurst University students and a few uh, courses at Franklin Pierce University. Um, one of the things that I like about teaching online is it gives me plenty of time to do research and I've just published a couple more papers. These ones are focusing on externalities which I have published in the announcement section for this course. About getting a hold of me, I think the best way to get a hold of me is probably by email or you can just simply pick up the phone and call me and that information is in the syllabus. So about this course specifically, we're going to be focusing on understanding others. As you know, the first course is knowing yourself. This course is about knowing others. And um, our lessons are going to be in the areas of creating leadership organizations, therefore transitioning to an outward focus, uh, outward customer focus. We'll be applying Peter Singhi's systems thinking, maximizing our leadership impact. We'll be identifying critical thinking, therefore an emphasis on solutions that are sustainable. And we'll be demonstrating decision making and influence by enlisting the help of stakeholders. We'll also be understanding the importance of customer engagement as well as conflict resolution. Therefore, we're going to be focusing on developing allies and using our influence skills to implement change. And leading teams with an outward focus. So again, this is the second of three courses. This is a really critical course before we get into the third course, which is all about implementing and sustaining change. As we know, uh, leadership achieves change through establishing direction, aligning people, and motivating and inspiring people through the work environment. So we'll be discussing the 10 guiding principles of leadership for sustainable leaders. And I think one of them that I like the best is the one on uh, systems design with nature in mind. I'm actually working on a biomimicry leadership paper right now. so. This ends up being a pretty crucial uh, resource for me for that paper. But we've got a lot of great information in this course. We'll be talking about, um, uh, well, in Unit 5, we'll be going, on, going over some materials on conflict resolution, which is going to be very important for all of you in the future, and I'm sure it's important for all of you now because conflict in the workplace is just uh, a matter of course. But it's particularly important when you have subordinates who are having conflict and knowing how to deal with that. We'll also be talking about Glassell's nine stages of conflict escalation, which is another really critical piece of information I wish I'd had about 20 years ago. I certainly had my share of conflict with those working around me and particularly with subordinates. Um, 
So I, I wish I'd have known then that uh, one of the best ways to handle that is to nip it in the bud early uh, and just be uh, a fast moving manager, uh, know when to spot it, how to spot it, and how to jump in there and do something about it before it escalates. So it's one of the best lessons I think from Gassel's, Glassel's nine stages is to catch it early and nip it in the bud. And uh, now I direct your attention to the course schedule. So it's very much like the schedule from the pre previous EMS 505 course. There's going to be a combination of assignments, lectures, good deal of reading, and, and perhaps most importantly, our discussions with one another, along with the reflections on lessons learned and areas for course improvement. So I plan for about 12 hours per week for this course, but uh, try to limit it to 10. Uh, by practicing good time management, which is probably one of the most important uh, lessons you'll learn from this MBA program. I should say this MSL program. The emphasis here is still on the learning process for each of you, as well as on your personal development skills as leaders. And I hope and expect that this will be a very positive experience for each of you, and I know it will be a valuable one for me. And in fact, the information gained here should be useful for you throughout your careers as leaders. So again, welcome to each of you. I do look forward to some great shared learning experiences together in the next few weeks. Thank you.